Hello, this is Darius. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a falling box animation. I'm going to use a rigged body simulation. The animation will look exactly like this. I'm going to use 2.8 EV version. So let's begin. Press G and Z to move the box up. Shift A to add mesh plane. Scale it a little bit and go to edit mode to extrude it up. Go to the object mode and select the cube. Now we are ready to add rigid body physics to this cube. Go to physics settings, rigid body, change mass to 100, shape to mesh. Now you can see the box is dropping down because we give him physics. Change the animation length to 100. Select the plane and give him regular body physics. Change shape to mesh and type to pass. Now you can see the box is dropping on the floor because type is set to passive. Also set sensitivity to zero, it won't vibrate anymore. Select the cube and change dynamics value about 0 0.2. This does not seem realistic, so margin set to zero and increase dynamics values. It looks better, but you can play with the numbers to improve the animation. Let's go to the part 2 and make a UV sphere in the middle. Shift A to add UV sphere. Give it rigid body, shape convex wool. Shift D to duplicate the UV sphere. It looks pretty cool. As you can see, the box falls down on the UV spheres. Push them away and drop off the platform. Change world color to white to make the platform more visible. Now select the objects and assign the colors, whatever you want. I'm going to select diffuse surface. It's time to set the camera, press 0 on the numpad, press N and lock camera to the view. Using the mouse scroll wheel you can change the camera view. Move the camera until you have the position you like.
go to render settings. I'm going to use Cycles Render Engine for a better look. If you want to render faster, use EV Render Engine. Select the light source, go to the light settings and change into sun. Also, I'm going to change tile size. 32 by 32, it's better for my device. Other settings looks good. I'm going to render in PNG format because I can stop it anytime and resume my rendering later. If Blender crashes, you can continue to render from the last rendered frame. Render is finished. As you can see, I have a lot of frame photos. Blender has the video editor, so I'm going to use this tool to connect all my photos into one video. So let's begin. Left click on plus sign and go to video editing. To add photos, go to Add, Image Sequence. Now find a temple folder in your computer. To select all images, press A on your keyboard. As you can see, Video Editor created video tape from the images. Drag it to the left, that it would start from the frame number one. Holding the left mouse click and dragging to the side, it shows how it looks. Change to add format to make a move file. Settings are correct. Now you are ready to render all images into one move file. Thank you for watching, please subscribe or leave a comment.